guys, what's going on? Clearly I'm trying something different, meaning I want to be outside and be around this loud nature noises and cars driving by and birds chirping. If you guys like me doing creative stuff with nature, keep on watching. So basically you guys are watching because you want to hear my take on Suicide Squad. Otherwise, why would you guys watch this? Other than to see my pretty face. So I literally, literally, by the time you guys see this, it'll be the next day. But I literally just now came from the theater. Hello, nature. So I literally today just came from the theater from watching Suicide Squad. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I didn't follow, I don't follow comics. I don't read comics. I never really cared to follow comics, ever. So watching this, I'm not watching it from a comic reading standpoint. I'm watching it from a, this film looks entertaining in the trailers. Is it going to entertain me as I watch the films? Because everybody knows trailers are very deceiving at times. And you, it'll make you think a film is really good when it's really not. So I'm going to jump right into it. I actually thought the film was really good. So I went into it listening to reviews from other people on YouTube and a lot of it a lot of them had mixed emotions about it. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I personally liked it. Uh there were three characters in um in total in that well four actually in total that I actually got gravitated to. Uh Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Diablo and the Joker. Why? I'm gonna start with uh Deadshot. Deadshot was amazing. He's a hired hitman. He kills people for a living. He has a daughter. He has an ex-wife that you never really hear or see about. And he's just like a badass when it comes to shooting and killing people. Like he is on point and one of my favorite scenes in the film actually includes him. Harley Quinn. She surprised me because in the trailers they play Revis as dumb blonde dits. But in reality, I mean for people that, like I said, if you watch the comics you know more about her than I would. But for me watching it, she came off as a dumb blonde ditz in the trailers. But she ended up being a crazy badass in the film who actually had a lot of humanity in her too. Just like Deadshot. So she surprised me and one of, the fav one of my other favorite scenes in the film included her too. Diablo. So he's a shocker. Like, not that... I'm not expecting him to be good, but from the trailers, um, you don't really see much of him except for what he does with fire, and the fire scenes are kind of badass. He actually ends up being a lot more crazier than I first thought he was going to be. Like, they're all crazy, but he's crazier than I anticipated him to be. And uh, in, the, in the finale of the film, you see his craziness come to fruition. <laughs> it was freaking awesome. The Joker. So I came to the theater with my friend who uh, likes comic book stories and reads them often and he was a little biased when it came to the Joker because, you know, compared to all the other Jokers, he had like the, the gold plates on his teeth and tattoos and not a lot of Jokers had that. Like none of them actually had that. So he was already turned off by that, my friend. But I was like, you know, this might be a nice little twist on the Joker story, you know? And you know, and you never know. Plus, J Jared Leto's playing Joker. Like, Jared Leto's an amazing actor. Like, no matter what, they could put him in a tutu freaking with a blonde ponytail. Like, he's going to kill it because he's an amazing actor. And I actually was very impressed. And my friend actually was impressed, too. Like, he played a really good Joker. But it's like when you are Jared Leto, who's known for doing amazing characters anyway because you just understand the the talent that it takes to become an amazing actor like we don't expect anything less but he was amazing crazy as hell but he was crazy good i mean some of the downfalls to me not necessarily a lot because normally when i go into a film i normally judge it on is it keeping me awake is that am i entertained or am i always squeamish to get the the f out because i've been in films in theaters watching films where i'm falling asleep or i'm just like looking for something to do on my phone or just doing something because I'm not entertained. This film actually entertained me. And uh, there was a lot of really cool action scenes. Like I said, one of my favorite scenes that included that shot. And one of my favorite scenes including Harley Quinn and actually the Joker too in it. I was very impressed. One with the, with the Harley Quinn and Joker, I didn't expect it. And I didn't know necessarily what was happening. But once I saw it all come together at the end of the scene, it was really cool. So I was really happy about that. You know, I guess it made sense for the Joker story. I guess if you follow the comics of that Joker playing in that in that uh, in that time, but it was cool. I liked it. Um, Viola Davis, wow, like she was good, like crazy good. Like she was so evil that she was good. And the Enchant Enchantress, I mean, like I said, don't know what the hell. I'm watching it for the first time. She was cool. I think it's really interesting when they get models to play actresses. You know, sometimes it's a, hit, it's a hit and miss because, you know, you can't take a 
a freaking rapper and think that they can act really well. I mean, the only person that really proved that one wrong was... Jeez, I don't know. The, the girl that played Enchantress, she was good. I mean, she was good for what it was. You know, she was a witch. And uh, the makeup and the CGI with all that made it that much more crazy. So, I, I, I liked it. But literally, the four characters that I really liked, liked a lot. Viola Davis, like I said, was good. I'm not knocking that she wasn't good, but... Oh my god. Deadshot, freaking Harley Quinn, Diablo, and the Joker. What? Like, literally, you don't have to really follow a story to, to understand a story. Like... Me, like I said, I don't, I didn't read the comics, but I was entertained and I knew a lot. I found out a lot about those characters just from watching that film alone. The other characters really weren't that important because they clearly didn't explain them well. Like, you didn't really care about them at all. There was no backstory on them. You just saw them at that present time doing whatever it is that they were doing. And boom, you know, it, they weren't really that memorable anyway. Um, Jai Courtney's in it and, you know, a lot of people have mixed emotions about him. I always thought he was pretty good only because I'm judging his acting from when I saw him in Spartacus and I thought Spartacus was an amazing series so I'm judging my my thoughts on him according to that. I haven't really seen him in anything to really give a, a true judgment on if he's a good actor or not. He was okay in um, in uh, Suicide Squad so I can't really knock him in that but literally. Four. Deadshot. Harley Quinn. Diablo. Joker. Phenomenal. I wouldn't say it's like an amazing film, but going into it not really knowing what to expect and seeing certain characters that I thought were going to be one way and they're totally different, I liked it. And I definitely would recommend it to people. So guys, I hope you guys liked that review. I'm trying to do more. I'm trying to stay up to date. Because normally when I watch a film, I normally wait like three days and then by the time I actually am ready to do a review, I forget some of it. <laughs> so I'm trying to do my reviews the day of me watching a film. It just makes, me, it makes it a lot better when I have the information already in my head and I haven't forgotten it. So if you guys did like it, definitely give me a thumbs up and if you really like it, definitely subscribe. Join the adventures of this brown chick and I'll see you all on my next video. Peace out.